and and that's when I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what 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 was said, you know, all of that on both sides should have came to you because you're the you're the middle part. You know, I'm so sorry. What's up, everybody? Um, as you can tell, I'm at Natalie's house. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that this video isn't intended to bash anybody. So with that being said, I know you guys are very passionate when it comes to supporting us or supporting me or supporting Natalie or anybody else. Like This video is not intended to bash anybody. So whatever happens or the outcome or what we say between each other, you know, just Keep it positive in the comments. You know what I'm saying? We do read all the comments and it's been very overwhelming, okay? But if you guys don't know what's been going on, pretty much, um, you know, there was a video posted. I reacted to it. Um, then Natalie's brother reacted to it. And, you know, we kind of talked about all of our problems that we've been going through for the past two years. Um, a lot of people have noticed the stigma because it's like subtle, like shots that's been thrown publicly. Um, but, you know, we decided to make a video, which was very childish to put on the internet and, you know, say what we were feeling. So um, I'm here, like I said, at Natalie's crib and I kind of, you know, you wanna, you wanna come out, you wanna come over? Hey, 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 again, it's Natalie. Oh, you know, like I was telling them, you know, this isn't a bashing session, you know. Um, and they're gonna keep it positive in the comments, but I know we've had a few conversations, especially, you know, you coming to Miami, and of course we're gonna see each other. And in the midst of all of this, it's supposed to be like, you know, it was supposed to be a fun vacation, but the way things happened, it was just so much. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely wanted to come on here and publicly apologize to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we've talked, but I wanted to publicly apologize to you because I publicly put our business out there. You know, they whether they knew or didn't know or what I felt hurt about, you know, I shouldn't have went to them before I went to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's when I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what, what, what was said, you know, all of that on both sides should have came to you because you're the you're the middle part. You're the one that's holding this together. And I just want to say, I sincerely apologize. Yeah, I feel like it's important for us to be able to decide together, you know, what stuff we make public and what stuff is private. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely something that should have been kept private. And, mm -hmm. you know, the repercussions for that happening were really bad you know on me like emotionally mentally um you know on our relationship i know i i know you know well i feel like that although it's out there i don't want you to feel you know like this is going to be a, a all the time thing I know it's easier said than done, but after seeing you the way I seen you, with the, no cameras, and and what I've seen you go through or go through the past two years is like enough is enough. I felt like I was very selfish, you know, to to post that, you know, regardless of how hurt I was. It's just I didn't think about you, you know, and I, I'm that's my number one priority is you. And in that moment, it wasn't. And I'm sorry, baby. Like, I don't. I don't want to ever see you, or feel, or know that you can go through the hurt that you you were going through. You know, some of the things that you expressed. You know, when you were in Miami, it was just like, damn, bro, I, I fucked up. You know, and I know you just wanted to have a good time on your mom's birthday. And seeing that we had mutual friends, how that couldn't really work out as good as we wanted to, like wanted it to. You know, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, I, 
you know, I appreciate you apologizing and I already talked to Josh and told him how, you know, disappointed and shocked I was and the, you know, what he did too. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is just, it's been so overwhelming. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to move forward. I want to continue doing this. I'm really happy, you know, regardless of all the BS and everything that was said, you know, how we were talking, the end is, I didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely damn sure didn't expect us to hug, you know, and I, I didn't think that it would end that way, but because it did, I do see a brighter future for us. You know, just even as best friends, that drama was coming between us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we were just best friends. So when I express my love to you, and you know, me and him are going through it, it's like, damn, like this is, it's it's really getting to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what's crazy too is like, what? How he used to always, you know, like make jokes and stuff like that before, like you express your love to me and how like he would low key be, you know, like supportive and like be with it, you know, mm -hmm. if because everyone used to always ask, like, was there something more? And he'd be like, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. And he used to always be like, well, you know, mm -hmm. when y'all are close, you know, like he wouldn't be mad at it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the fact that, you know. Y'all were going through it during the time that was like tough. Yeah. But like I was saying, even though all of that was tough, you know, everything we were going through and like we all know, you know, within your family, my family, two years right. of this drama. And, you know, we're given, they still only got, even from my video, his video, a couple minutes compared to two years. Yeah, I don't want the two years. Yeah, I don't want tell you. Um, or it's a it's a fucking headache. But I was saying that to say, out of all those two years, we've never had a conversation like that, me and your brother, never. Yeah, and, you know, and I was happy to see it. Mm -hmm. I was really happy to see it, you know. And I feel like, man, this is just what I wanted y'all to do all along. Like I was. How many times did I say y'all just need to talk it out and mm -hmm. both of y'all egos too big like mm -hmm. neither y'all could be on the same page at the same time to just in two years have that conversation and just be real and be raw and emotional and just be like yo I'm hurt mm -hmm. and, you know and I've been telling you that like you're just hurt mm -hmm. you know you wouldn't be so angry if you weren't hurt mm -hmm. he wouldn't be so angry if he wasn't hurt and y'all just admitting that I just feel like brought y'all together and then it was just like all right, we're hurt. We're hurt. Mm -hmm. Now, where do we go from here? Exactly. We heal, you know? Exactly. And I think that was important. And it was really, like, good to see y'all, like, hugging and laughing at the end and stuff. And it really, like, you know, warmed my heart. So I do feel like something good came out of it. <laughs> we could have skipped the whole posting about it and oh. jump straight to that. The, right. To the hugging. I was trying and to make light out of the situation, no? No. I mean, but look, think about it. Two years, that, if, like, really think about the sequence, like, we wouldn't be cool. Uh, so, I don't know. Does it justify I it? I don't know. Does it justify I'm not saying, like I'm just, like, happened like, anyway. No, I'm literally thinking, like, to make light, I honestly don't condone anything that I did or he did or anything, but I'm just trying to, like, it was a joke, but then now I was thinking, like, well, would it, would it have happened or no? I feel like y'all were already kind of on that path to the healing mm -hmm. and to the, yeah. and so, you know, I feel like ultimately, you know, you never know, like, the pattern of things or what was supposed to happen, what was not supposed to happen, but I feel like, you know, we just have to start choosing the peaceful route for everything now on. For now on because that net can't take it no more that net can't and i don't want you to take it anymore you know you know how much love i have for you and 
regardless of what anybody says, like, you know how much I love you. I don't have to prove that to anybody. Off camera, like I said, the world only gets a couple minutes of us. You know how much I've loved you since we became, what, best friends, and that was years ago. I've shown that love on and 99% off camera. <laughs> so that's what I get a little shoulder like where are you getting the shoulder from that's it yeah do, do you love me too or you know I love you do you yes girl you think I would be stressing like this if I didn't I know not that love me oh my god y'all I know I told y'all that not love me that not love me you are my biggest headache. Also my biggest love too. <laughs> With that situation, I totally understand why you say that. Well, so where do we go from here? Are we like kicking it? We cooling it? We chilling? We friends? We totally friends? We like what? Um, you get on my nerves. <laughs> what? What are we? What? So? So? What are we? So? What are we? You, you, you rocking the leaves to the fullest. Mm. <laughs> so what are we? You got to make me call you an Uber real quick. You know when they hit you with that? What are we now? They're Uber? Uber's outside. The Uber? So look, she hit it. See how she ain't going. She been going for the shoulder. She been going for the head. And then they still feel some sort of way. So what are we? I mean, it takes time to heal, but you know. So what are we? I'm not going to be childish. We still in love. So do we sign out as Neezy Gang or do we sign out as Natalie Odell, Young Easy? How do we sign out? Ah, they gonna be Neezy Gang always and forever. Neezy Gang.